Today we're in Birmingham at the Girl Girl Project, which is a ladies and children's refuge, and we were privileged to be asked if we can design a playroom and also a games room for the children here. So I'm going to take a little tour on what we've done, and yes, I hope you enjoy it, and we've loved doing this, and I think it's a fabulous design. So Girl Girl contacted me um, because they had a playroom that was very cluttered and there's quite a few children here and it just wasn't enough space. So yes, the design was to create more space, make it nice and airy, a light area as well, and somewhere that's practical for the children to do activities and also play. So this area that I'm standing in right now, this is an area where the younger children, like the babies, can also crawl around on here because it's soft. Put some lovely soft seats in here for the moms so that the moms can sit down and watch the children play. Um, with this wall, I've just, the idea come from kind of clouds, so I wanted kind of a cloud effect, so I decided to put that across the top and then I kind of wanted a skyline, so I thought to myself, let's put some lead lighting on top just to really make it stand out. And then I also put a lead light across the top of this shelf as well. And yeah, we've got our little mascot bunny, which needed to be in here, be in the children's room. And then we've got a lovely wooden clock as well, so the parents can sit with the children and help them to learn the time and things. And then just to show you our lovely wall lights. So with this design, I wanted to keep lots of natural elements in this room. So I decided to go with a lovely, wood wall light and then also wood panels as well and then to bring lots of textures into the room I also decided to go with a polka dot wallpaper and also some wooden slap lines but they're in a white just to really just blend in. Um, I wanted the picket fence because it brings a really playful feel to the area and also the bean bags as well. So, for instance, if there's a mother sitting on the chair there, you know, they can pop the bean bag there and the children can relax there and play while they're being watched as well. Um, so I have to think about the safety of this room. So at Gilgal, the mothers and babies, they all have their own room and there's not many places for them to really go within the building. So I wanted somewhere where they could all come together and do things. So I decided to put the TV in here on this wall and we've got the bean bags. So that way the children can have a movie night with the parents in here. So they can put the bean bags down there and then also bring the chairs over if they want to or they can sit there and watch the movies. And with this wall, I kind of decided to go with like, I wanted it to have kind of a dollhouse look in here. So this is why I've done like these artificial roofs and yeah and I decided to put the panelling behind it because I wanted the glow of the lights which I think looks really really nice and it brings us, it's, well it softens the room as well. And we did have, well it's still there, a really big ugly radiator. So I just wanted a nice cover, something very simple and then obviously we've had it stained to kind of match the wood above. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased with the way this turned out. And again, we went with the green and the pink again because of soft colours. Um, so yeah, so I think they'll have lots of nice movie nights in here. Um, and also, I've left a nice space because the children, children need to run. And yeah, so this space is so that children can come down here, they can bring their own toys in the room, and they've got space to ride around on little tricycles and things like that. Um, and I think that's so important for children to have the space to hang around. So yeah, so that's why we've got this lovely bare area here. So the wall behind me, again, like on the other wall, I wanted to create like, you know, the dolly of look again, so I've done that there. But for this wall, the children are also going to be doing a lot of activities. So once they've done the painting and the drawings and things, they will actually pin them onto this cork wall. Um, I don't know if you can see if you want to come a bit closer, um, but yeah, we've got the cork wall here and it's very thick so the children can pin their work into there. And then we also have done a, a bit of perspex just to protect any water that splashes from here. And the reason why we've got the sink, we did do a second design without the sink in. 
but they require to have the sink in here because I wanted to do like the paints and things like that. So I redesigned it and squeezed the sink in there, which I think looks great. It's a very slim sink, I think it's only about four or five hundred wide. And then we needed some storage as well. So I put in this just a simple metal cabinet, which I think fits really well. And yeah, this is how this has come out on this side of the wall. And again, we've added the polka dot wallpaper. And yeah, I think it looks great with all the different textures again. And also, rather than put the lighting on the top, we've added the lighting underneath just to highlight the children's artwork once it's on there. So yeah, so that's, that's how this looks. So the wall behind me, this wall I absolutely love. So I'd created a design because the children would be doing activities and painting. So I thought to myself, let's create paint drips to go on the wall. So, as you can see, we've got the green paint drips and this area is a play area. So I thought to put the play side above there, which looks lovely. And I had it done as well, like in a really playful text, with it being a children's room. Um, again, we went with the soft colours. And then I've also got some desks. Now these desks, they're pretty good desks, I really like them. So what, we've got this pole here. So this on this desk, we can put a roll of paper on there and then we can pull it across when we keep doing the work and tear it off and then pop it onto the wall. And then also as well, we take these off. This actually turns into like a play area so that the children, we've got different rices and things in there. So they can put sand in there, water, and yeah, they can definitely have fun with all of this. And then also, because I like to personalise things as well. Oh, by the way, we've got these cute little tiny chairs for our little people. And we've had Gilgal put onto the table as well, which I think looks so beautiful. Um, and yeah, it just adds that little touch to it. And in this corner over here, because when they're doing activities, we need to keep the clothes protected. So I've put a little... Um, coat hanger here, and then they've got their aprons. I'll show you. They've got two different sizes here, so one's for a four year old, and another one for two year olds and seven year olds. And then in this area here, this was actually, we'd actually put the um, fancy dress area in the second design, but they loved it and wanted it incorporated into the first original design. So I ended up popping it here. So we've got the rail where the children can hang all the costumes. And then we've got a little, this is a plastic mirror by the way. Um, so we've got a lovely little arch mirror so that the children can do fancy dress, the costumes and things. And yeah, so yeah, when all the children are here, I think there'll be a lot that they'll be doing once they've been around toys in and things like that. Um, and then just a bit more about the lighting. So I want it to, have a really soft feel. So with the lighting, we've got the wall lights, the lighting here, the lighting of the paint drips, the lighting on the back wall, and then also as well, we just went with some lovely spotlights just so that we can move the light around the room where needed. And yeah, guys, so this is the playroom. This is how it's looking. So when I create my designs, I do think of everything that can be done in the room. So for instance, you know, this space behind me would have just been an empty space, we could have put panels there. But I thought to myself, I know about magnetic wallpaper. So I thought it'd be a great idea to put the magnetic wallpaper here. And it's also, it's a write-on as well, so the children can write on it and also stick different magnets. Now we have got wooden letters to go on here, but they're coming from another country and we've not got them quite yet in time. But yes, when they do arrive, we'll try and show you them somewhere in another video so yes if you don't know about magnetic walls they do exist like this and it's just a wallpaper you can pop it anywhere and then stick your letters on and also draw on it with a white wallpaper So in the games room at the Girl Girl Project and I was asked to design this room for the teenagers. Now this room is literally a box room, it was just used for storage and yes, I nailed it, I turned it into a games room. So I'm going to show you what I've done and hopefully you like it. So this wallpaper was where all of the designs started. I wanted something that had a graffiti feel 
and this is what I found and I love the colours and the patterns in it. So I've taken elements of the colours from this and I've put them into other parts of this room which I'm going to show you now. So the wall behind me I decided to take a yellow out of the wallpaper and to put this on this back wall because I really wanted it to be really vibrant in here. And the window, I just kept that as a plain white blind. I didn't want too much going on there. And then we've had a new window scene as well, um, just to make it look nice and neat. And then I went for a bench because I wanted to fit at least four to five children in here. And this should fit probably three, four children, depending on the size. And also as well, popped in a little table, just the children if they want to bring any drinks or food got somewhere to pop that and then we've got a little shelf above the radiator as well and also I did these lovely orange stools which is colour taken out of the wallpaper again so you can if you can visualize pop this here. you know we can have one two three children and then obviously we have the door shut as well and then we can have a fourth child there and then we've actually got another store here as well so that we can fit a fit child in this room. So on this wall, I decided to go with the turquoise and the turquoise is picked from the wallpaper. Again, I wanted to choose the colours to tie the colours together in here. And we also added a laptop table. Now this laptop table, it does fold down to allow more space in here. Um, and then you can just sit on the stool so the children can play the computer games. And at the same time, if they want you to, they can sit on here then do the laptop work and yeah it's very very practical and then we've also added two shelves as well so we can store computer games all the laptops and other bits and pieces so in total this project had taken us i would say probably four just over four weeks um, the reason why is because the time of the year, Christmas, deliveries, things didn't turn up on time or wrong items. So we had a few delays, but in general, when things turned up, we got things in and the guy who's done an amazing job. Honestly, the workmen, they absolutely nailed my design. And yeah, if you go back to the 3D, but I'll probably put that on this video, um, you'll see that this room looks exactly the same as a 3D. So that's off to the guys. Also as well, the people at Gilgal have done a fabulous job raising the money for this project. And yeah, honestly, they do so much here, so much for the women and children. And honestly, if you want to help Gilgal, please, please get in touch with them and leave a contribution, they'd really, really appreciate it. And yes, again, like and subscribe. We love the support and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.